snor havor sor snud, which which I think I, I I may have got this wrong, of course, but I think it's Happy Christmas in Armenian. And today, today is the celebration. The sixth of January is the celebration of the oldest form of Christmas. Um, it's still celebrated uh, in Armenia. So, um, although we think of Christmas as being on the 25th of December, uh, that really was something that only started to happen uh, after the 4th century. Um, and Armenia, as one of the oldest national churches, I think probably the oldest national church, still keeps the old tradition. Now, of course, uh, we're busy uh, thinking of Twelfth Night, uh, taking down our Christmas decorations. Our tree is almost, uh, is almost ready to go out into the garden. Um, or, or we're celebrating Epiphany, uh, the day when uh, Jesus is presented to the world, the Epiphanios. Um, in the Orthodox Church, um, those celebrating the new calendar would also celebrate uh, the baptism of Christ. Um, and, they, uh, and, and particularly in Greece, there's the wonderful um, uh, festival where a cross is thrown into the sea and then people dive in to um, bring it back out. So symbolising the, 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 the very good sort of iconography of baptism, of death and resurrection through the waters and, and, and new life. Um, so today, today is... Uh, the celebration of the oldest form of Christmas, um, which you find in Armenia and also in uh, Lebanon. Um, and uh, uh, everybody originally celebrated Christmas on the 6th of January. That was the date of Christmas. And gradually, by the time of the 4th century, um, the celebration of Christmas moved to replace the older pagan festival of Sol Invictus which already took place on the 25th of December and uh, also linked with that the Saturnalia, the sort of um, uh, a chaos where people swapped costumes and, um, and, and, and played games on each other. Um, we've also got, incidentally, uh, just to make it so much more exciting, we've got the problem of the calendar change, which um, uh, took place in Britain in 1752. We were a bit slow on the uptake there and it caused quite a problem when uh, I think the 3rd of September that year was suddenly designated the 14th of September and people were running into the streets saying, give us back our 11 days. Now it's about 13 days difference between the Julian calendar, the calendar that had been uh, devised by Julius Caesar, which is where we get the uh, month July from, um, and, uh, and the new calendar uh, put out in uh, 1582 by Pope Gregory the Great. Um, so you can see why the British uh, didn't, um, didn't embrace that immediately, because uh, they were busy going through the Reformation. So it took some time to trickle into the whole of the West. But today, um, most of the world lives by the Gregorian calendar. There are little pockets like um, the monastic community of Mount Athos, which still follows um, the Julian calendar. In fact, in fact, the monastic community of St. Athos follows not only the Julian calendar, but its own slight, slightly um, peculiar variant. So, um, uh, so, 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 so it has its own clock as well as uh, its own uh, calendar. So you completely, you're, you're, you're complete odds when you move onto the holy mountain. Um, but there we are. Uh, today is the feast of Christmas for Armenia. Tomorrow, the 7th of January, is the feast of Christmas for um, Russia. Oh, 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 and much more excitingly, there are Armenians, <laughs> just to make this really, re really entertaining, there are Armenians who follow the old calendar. So it is possible to find people celebrating Christmas on, I think, that would be the 18th of January. So if you are worried that you have missed Christmas, rest assured Christmas is still going on somewhere until at least the 18th of January. So there you are. Happy Christmas. You can keep doing this for another 13, what, 13 odd days. So um, happy Christmas generally. Have fun. <laughs>